went by so quickly. Thank you for allowing me to host this last portion of the show. Please give a warm welcome for Zivon Vasquez. Hello, hey everybody. This uh, show is brought to you by the letter Z, but today Z stands for Zoloft. That will be my mic today. Uh, actually, I'd like to stand up, get the blood flowing. Um, they say laughter is the best medicine, so I'm going to pop this baby open, capture a couple, and eat them whenever I feel like crying myself to sleep. So thank you in advance. You guys are doing the Lord's work. Everybody's changing over the course of the year. Uh, I think society has changed. In 2019, double impeachment, impossibility. This year, it's just a shitty Ben and Jerry's, all right? <laughs> you can find it right next to Rocky Road 2020. I uh, get a lot of ice cream. I have a friend named Nathan. He's colorblind. And the other day, he was telling me that he was envious, right? I can enjoy painting, film. I can be a fighter pilot. There's a lot of stuff that I can do that he can't. And I was like, that's true, but, you know, the grass is always grayer on the other side. All right? Uh -huh. He was like, shut up, Whitey. And I'm like, hey, kudos to you for not seeing color. He did not appreciate that. <laughs> it's interesting, though. A lot of my friends aren't black, and uh, insofar as I can tell, not many of the comedians. But a lot of things that I hear uh, are the kind of the inward pass uh, requests. And if you guys have been hearing me for the time that I've been talking, I don't even have the inward pass. All right? <laughs> I make it sound racist when I say it. If I'm on the phone and I drop it, they're like, whoa, 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 slow down, bigot. I'm like, Nathan, you know I'm black, all right? Jesus. Oh, gosh. My family's very interesting, though. My mother is a massage therapist, and she's a Trump supporter. So she has a decal on the back of her car that says, make massages great again. Which is not what you want to see pulling up in the carpool line. My dad is very different, though. He's a cool guy. Uh, he's a DJ, actually. And he's unlike a lot of black parents because he's not in jail. Because he's a shitty DJ, the most he's ever behind is eight bars. But I love him. He's a great guy. <laughs> I have a pretty multicultural family. We've got people from all over. Korea, Germany, Philippines. And we have every single continent down except for two. Australia and Antarctica. So I've got to marry a wombat, wombat and my sister's got to fuck a kangaroo. And that way we'll, <laughs> we'll get him. And a penguin, sorry. Can't forget those little rascals. They're, they're cuties. I'm actually not seeing anybody, though. I, uh, I do date around, and whenever I have girls over, I like to have them see my comic book collection, because I keep my comic books right next to my condoms. The way I figure, my condoms, that's for safe sex. My comic books, that's for role-play ideas, all right? <laughs> Here's the lasso of truth, Diana. Let's get crazy, all right? I keep all my toys and my utility belt, and if I don't feel like doing any work, I'm Professor X that night. Or Professor Z, I'm sorry. I've got a whole setup. <laughs> in my room, though, I have a lot of posters, and one time a girl came in and she saw my Ant-Man poster. She goes, oh, is that, uh, is that because you feel small? I'm like, oh, geez, hey. Come on, Georgina, we haven't even started yet. And no, it is not because I feel small. It's because I'm a grower, not a shower. See also my Hulk poster, all right? Let's get down to business. <laughs> Actually, my favorite superhero is uh, Spider-Man. We're both broke, depressed, and we're both hanging by a thread, but the way he does it seems a lot more fun, all right? <laughs> Actually, I have arguments with my friends about this a lot because uh, same guy, Nathan, thinks that Batman is more relatable because Batman doesn't have any superpowers. He's more like a normal human being. And I said that's bullshit because Batman is a billionaire with dead parents and I don't even know any orphans, okay? <laughs> Batman is a fucking trust fund flying rodent who punches the mentally ill, all right? It's maybe he should trade his batterings for some SSRIs, all right? It just makes sense to me. Gosh, well, I'm actually, uh, my identity specifically is I'm half Hispanic and half Nigerian. So that means that I only steal cleaning supplies, and my favorite rapper is Dos Pac. Um, <laughs> but again, I can't tell anybody that because I get doxxed if I say it. Um, uh -huh. I have to be sure to show pictures of myself every single time I'm talking to somebody. Gosh, yeah, it's funny that I'm getting the light because the way I see it, if I'm dying, I'm still looking at the light going into it. 
Uh, but hopefully I did okay now. All right, thank y'all. <laughs> All right, you guys, come on, give a round of applause to Steve on Vasquez. Uh, 